same no, concept. Sorry. No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. If you're going to talk trash about one side, you got to talk trash about no, the other. No, 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 darling. Let me tell you something. you got to realize this man is wanting to be what Obama already is. Oh, okay. There's no comparison. What? The table. But when Bush. Is he winning? I bet you he is. Is he winning? Okay. Hey, what? Okay, if he wins, oh yeah, he'll win. Cause you know why? Oh yeah, he'll win. He'll win. Who will? All right, we're gonna get back to this in a minute. On this, stop, stop, stop. You're listening to a teacher, an affirmative action teacher in a city outside of Rolling, North Carolina, bullying a student who dared raise a question about Obama, threatening the student, telling a student to shut up overpowering the student, doing what a typical union Marxist thug teacher does in America today. And the student, by the way, who stood up to her, we've been trying to find him so we can give him a scholarship because this is the future of America. The only hope for America are students who dare to stand up to the union Marxist thugs. The teacher should be arrested for bullying, if not for child abuse. But we're going to play more of this sound from the so-called high school teacher caught on tape bullying a student in a city near Rolling, North Carolina. My question is, if they can crucify cops with video cameras in cars, why should teachers like this teacher in the North Rowan High School, North Carolina, be not, not immediately in, uh, uh, indicted for what she did to this student? This teacher, a Marxist union thug teacher, caught on tape, screaming at a high school student, saying he could be arrested if he criticized Obama. I want you to listen to clip two now and tell me what you think of this. Now, you hear that? The child says Obama is just a man. He's not a god. But the affirmative action, shrill, union Marxist thug teacher gets hysterical in clip three now. Listen. You Get back. You will not disrespect the president of the United States in this platform. I'll say what I want. Not, not about him. You won't. You see? Now listen to clip four. Here's your teacher. I all I have is a question. You freaked out. No, I told you, do not. It was a question. It was a question. I told you that twice. I said on the. All I asked is, didn't Obama bully a girl in high school and you got all defensive? See that? Now this kid is the real McCoy. This this kid is the special forces of uh, America. He is a kid who stood up to this shrill, hysterical, union Marxist. Uh, a thug in a classroom who's obviously a mouthpiece for the Obama administration telling a child he can't even criticize the president. Listen to clip five now. As a teacher, I'm not supposed to allow you to disrespect the president of the United States. I'm not. I didn't disrespect him. I was asking questions. You are. You don't. You always do. Well, I have a different beliefs. You are. Well, you're always going to have a different belief, but you were not disrespecting him here. I wasn't disrespecting him. I asked a question. this teacher should be arrested for uh, child endangerment for bullying I mean if ever you heard bullying it's this teacher this hysterical teacher we don't even know she is because the school is protecting her no doubt the superintendent is also of the same ilk no doubt the entire management of the school system is in the same category as this teacher Uh, union Obama thugs intimidating children so we have a number of questions to work with on the savage nation which is number one uh, do you believe the stock the uh,